evening, and I've decided to uh, try to make a new special for real. Um, it's not going to be a normal special because there's no audience and there's no crew. It's just uh, me and my camera and you and your screen uh, the way that, that, that our Lord intended. From the moment the introduction ended and it transitioned into the full special, I knew we were in for something good. So don't expect incredibly smooth transition. Are you feeling nervous? Are you having fun? It's almost over. It's just begun. Don't overthink this. Hi, I wanted to talk about Bo Burnham's inside and what it did for me in a world where I believed artistic expression was at a dying halt. Bo Burnham has always been a genius to me. Not really in the way of being intelligent, say like a professor or some shit like that, but when it comes to hitting the joke and making a point at the same time. Inside is a bit different though, with the theme of distracting yourself with creativity from the current climate of the world, mental health, and well, quarantine. Uh, to distract me from wanting to put a bullet into my head. It dives into many topics, such as attempts at activism, current corporate, silencing voices, oppression, depression, suicide, and much, much more. Inside is losing yourself, and was most literally Bo Burnham's distraction for making that happen. Because if I finish this special, that means that I have to um, not work on it anymore, and that means I have to just live my life, and so I'm not going to do that. There's a consistent theme throughout the entirety of Inside when it comes to making statements about the current social climate. Like here, there's a literal skit of him making fun of brands or even attempting to give a shit about social issues. There's no sugarcoating it. The world is fucked up. And you've got a choice as a brand. You can hide and bury your head in the sand and hope it fixes itself or you can roll up your sleeves and get to work and sell butterfingers here's a rant of him on the floor saying some real shit i don't know about you guys but um you know i've been thinking recently that you know maybe um allowing giant digital media corporations to exploit the neurochemical drama of our children for profit. You know, maybe that was uh, a bad call by us. And, well, my personal favorite. Watch your mouth, buddy. <laughs> Remember who's on whose hand here. But that's what I, have you not been fucking listening? We are in right, in a right, wait, I'm... wait, wait, no, please, no. no. <laughs> Bo Burnham said in the past that he isn't one to dive into politics or that comedians shouldn't be expected to make statements regarding this kind of stuff, but after six years, he did, and I liked it. Hey everybody, um, I thought I'd do a reaction video to the song that you just saw me perform. Thought that might be fun. This. This skit alone got me. This skit got me so hard, I can't, I can't breathe. Is Bo Burnham free on Saturday? I think that, oh, if I'm self-aware about being a douchebag, it, 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 it'll somehow make me less of a douchebag, but it, but it doesn't. If it isn't about the social climate or making fun of YouTubers, a big, big topic is Bo's mental health. The last time we saw him was on Make Happy five years ago, a purely live comedy special with a crew, and it was directed by him and others. Now we see him beaten, bruised, alone in a room, by himself, doing also everything himself. Oh, wait. And he has, a, he has a beard. Bo Burnham expresses his thoughts with suicide multiple times. He also expresses his being, and in All Lies On Me, he makes this statement. I got better. I got so much better, in fact, that in January of 2020, I thought, you know what, I should start performing again. I've been hiding from the world, and I need to re-enter. And then, the funniest thing happens. I'll touch more on All Eyes on Me in a minute. Bo goes into how he spent years improving his mental health, really not fitting into this premise of being a figure, and when he finally was okay enough to do what he does best, well, we all know what happened with the world. I couldn't imagine how crushing it would be to be living your lifelong dream and taking half a decade of a break because you mentally can't be yourself anymore, then when you finally feel okay enough to do it, 
it crushes. What I really love about Inside is the way he puts layers into the sketches, and the way it took me my second watch to even notice some of the blips that you may mistake the first time. Now, I said in the beginning that artistic expression is dead. In today's era of the internet, I don't see many people going out of their way to make a statement or be entirely creative. It seems that everyone wants to fit into a category or do something that's already been done. Or, as Donald Glover said, people are too afraid to be themselves, this including creatively. It's a big reason why it's so hard for me to find inspiration nowadays. Bo, in 2010, had the same exact thought. Quote to Art is Dead, one of his first, you know, major singles, which kind of stated the same thing. A song he performed to crowds of people that just tried to find something to laugh at, when in reality, it was about creatives just being children that never wanted to grow up and just thrive off of attention, addiction, and, well, a dive of their mental health. He had his times, he was no stranger to controversy, and he made jokes throughout his career, especially earlier on, that were a bit ignorant and made an entire song about it in this very special. The entire purpose of this song in this special is for this very reason. He, this man, all right, this man literally said, my bed is getting cold, is anyone gonna hold me accountable? Do y'all get that? He said, his bed is getting cold, is anyone gonna hold him accountable? That's, that's a motherfucking boss. That's cold motherfucking boss! But he also turns 30. I say it with art, and art being, quote, dead. Bo is a genius. Album in a loop. So, um, uh, my current mental health is, is rapidly approaching, um, an ATL, which is, um, that's an all time low. Not, not Atlanta. I laughed, and I shouldn't have, but I'm fucking stupid. So I laughed at the Atlanta comment because I, I felt that shit. Um, I've been working for the last couple months. I've been working on this special now for six months. So I've been working on this special for um, a year now, which is um, a lot longer than I anticipated working on it. If it wasn't obvious from the past clips and your memory of the special, the second half of this episode is the real soul-crushing part. There is no more comedy, just layered, but also in your face and blatant sadness. Fast forward, but maybe backwards, I wanted to talk about my favorite song from this special. Welcome to the Internet sounds like a song that a villain would play once he won. The theme of internet addiction starting from a young age and the role it plays is, once more, genius. The bridge in the middle caught me so fucking hard. The lights are beautiful, the angles catch you, and the melody gets stuck in your head. I like to remind you that Bo did everything in this special entirely by himself. I need to call him for some lighting tips. Oh, my hair looks like a fucking lesbian right now. Do you see this? Do you see this? And just from a musical standpoint, can I say genius again? Is it relevant to say genius again? I still can't decide if I like Bezos 1 or Bezos 2 better. Now, after that funny feeling, which was once again filled with jokes, but also straight up holy fuck, we get a part that kind of made me reminisce of myself and why I keep taking breaks from everything I love. <laughs> All eyes on me. I said I was gonna say it, but do I even need to say anything else? I felt a break of peace, mimicking the audience, but an eerie feeling that kept creeping on me. As it went on, this song is one that I know would stick with me for the rest of the year. I keep that word. I know it will. This is where Bo opened up, and probably his most vulnerable song next to the next, hindering a pitched tone that he uses in the song to perhaps mask that. Get up. Get up. I'm talking to you. Get the fuck up! The special ends in what seems to be a mimic of a happy ending. Kind of a somber feeling you get when a book ends too short or exiting a horror movie with the adrenaline still in your veins. The moment after a live concert, after a fight, or that feeling when you come home after seeing someone you love. Until Bo takes a breath, says he's done, and suddenly you see him at the piano again. So long, goodbye. After a very beautiful outro reprise, within minutes of time we see the light again, and it repeats, with him watching himself, going inside again, with the fear of everyone's eyes locking him out of the area he found comfort and no more resistance to hostility in. Genius. Inside is very fucking good, and I for one feel five years in the past seeing something from him again, no matter the tone or the dark death. I'm broken. I'm questioning myself and why I do things and why it happens. Bo is one of my favorite creators, one of the most expressive creators on the internet right now, and if you haven't seen it, please, please do. It can be fun, it can be lousy, and it can be genius. You can go for a trip or two. I'm gonna watch this again, and again, and again. And if you haven't watched it yet, 
But what what are you what are you waiting for? You you literally just spoiled it for yourself. Go, go on, go ahead, go ahead. Why are you still why are you still here? Go on. I'm horny.